Welcome to another video review as it is, more of an overview, a continuation review of my Apple TV review series. In this case I'm trying to get you as wide angle and close up as possible, best resolution I can with my GoPro Hero 4 Black. And basically I'm, I know I'm a little dark so you're not going to see my face so much, um, but I wanted to focus on the actual material itself. So this is, like I said, a continuation. This is my third part. Over the last couple of years, I've done this update uh, on my um, original Apple TV review and kind of give you a rundown of the new stuff that they have available. Apple just keeps bringing out new apps. Now, unlike, like I've said before, unlike the Roku or the Amazon Fire TV or any of those other streaming sticks or, or uh, smart TV, you don't add apps to the Apple TV. The Apple TV has all of its apps built in. So every time you... And, and if you are smart, you leave, or I don't know if you call it smart, but I leave mine an automatic update. So every so often, I'll wake up in the morning or I'll come home after after work, and boom, there'll be another app up. And it's not a generalized every couple weeks or anything like that. Sometimes you'll get four in like two days, and then you won't see another one for a month. So they do, it's whenever they have their partnerships, and I you know obviously I have no no dealings with that at all. So um, again. We'll go through all by page by page, and then updated some of these as well. But top row is iTunes. You know, movies, TV shows, music. The actual store itself. If you want to actually purchase, rent movies, per, uh, purchase TV shows. You know, have access to your music, purchase that. iTunes Radio is free. Um, and then uh, computers. If you actually have a computer and you want to actually share stuff, anything that's in your iTunes library that's shareable, will share. Um, or basically in the right format is basically what it comes down to. So like all of my movies are in iTunes, all the ones that I've purchased, but also ones that I own on DVD that I've ripped into MP4 and put them on my iTunes library to share. Uh, this is going to be, you know, and I unhid a whole bunch of apps that I typically have hidden because if I'm not going to use it, like for instance, Tennis Channel Everywhere, I'm not a Tennis Channel subscriber and I don't really watch tennis. Yes, you can watch snippets for free, but if you're if you really want to get everything, you have to be a subscriber to get it. But uh, YouTube is actually a big one that I use a lot, and they did a huge app. Um, refresh to get it to the more similar feel that all the other guys have um noticeably much easier to find stuff noticeably a lot you know uh have access to more of the rather than just the trending popular stuff you have a lot more access to things downside is you can't pause a video really very it's, it's, it's like you pause on everything else and one of the big things that was really awesome about the old apple tv app is that if i paused it there wouldn't be a pop-up in the middle of the screen um saying hey you want to watch this instead or you want to resume you know it would just pause so if i oh i want to read that real quick i hit pause and i could actually read this but you can't do that anymore on the new apple tv app for uh for youtube i hate that it really drives me crazy also the new app opposed to the old app you can't fast forward or rewind in slow motion or anything like that so in the old app i could actually you know i have a, a different remote that i have actually programmed to run my apple tv that has uh step forward pause uh and, and basically in the old one you hit pause and then you hit fast forward and it would go slow forward uh slow motion really really cool especially if you're watching like failed videos can't do that on the new one either which really drives me crazy because every time you pause it and i can show you real quick i'll just pick a, a YouTube video at random, just the top trending one. Every time you pause a video, and of course we have a nice little ad, yay, all right. And that's another thing that, that's one of the big things of why they updated the app. But every time, so if I hit pause, this, this pops up every time. This drives me insane. I can't stand this garbage. Um, I also found that uh, in the old app, if you actually paused it, um, or at the end of the, at the end of the video, it wouldn't continue on so this one will actually keep going on the next video and the next video and the next video i like that but at the same time i also don't like that because the old apple tv app when you got to the end it would bring up a little menu kind of like this where you could actually go straight to the the creator's channel and actually watch more content from that creator or so you know when you get there you know get an idea of what else they have can't do that so easily on this you have to do a search to get to their channel and you have to actually make sure you spell it fairly correctly to get to their channel. It's it's kind of annoying. I wish you could actually go down. Oh, the Ellen Show. Let's go down. Well, no, you can't do that. Um, it, there's just certain things, and that's you know I'm getting a little more in depth on the YouTube app specifically, and it's more because I use it a lot because obviously I'm a creator and I watch a lot of other people's stuff. So I like the new YouTube app. It streams a lot faster than the old one. The old one was a pain in the butt because every so often you get a lot of buffering no matter what your connection speed was. 
The new one runs a lot better, so they must be pulling from a different feed off of YouTube much, much better. Uh, HBO Go, obviously if you have HBO, um, I don't believe they brought out the non-attached subscription packages yet that I'm aware of. I have not actually checked, um, but I, I, uh, yeah, I use HBO Go frequently because uh, I do have a friend that has, actually, my next door neighbor uses it. So, um, Netflix, subscribe if you want to use it. Uh, basically, standard stuff. I'm not going to go through a lot of the stuff I've already gone through. Yahoo Screen, really good, very, very similar to YouTube. Kind of have a same, similar feel, but different content. A lot of carryover content. But another one I, I use a lot, Major League Soccer. I have to subscribe to get all the Major League Soccer stuff. AOL on free. FX Now. Basically, you have to have cable subscription to really use FX now. CBS News, however, pretty sweet. You can watch CBS News. Not only can you watch CBS News clips and things like that, they actually have CBS News live. And yes, it's free. And you can go down and see the schedule. But you can actually watch live news. Now, there are several other apps that do it as well. Be right back in 82 seconds. But it's free. There's you know no logging in or anything like that. They made it awesome. It's usable. It's great. Perfect. I recommend it just because of that. Um, NHL, NBA, Beats Music, simple, obviously, you probably understand what that is. Uh, NFL Now, they have a subscription package for more of their uh, TV shows and stuff like that. Um, they have access to a lot more sports highlights and after game uh, highlights. It's like two bucks a month. It's really cheap. So if you're a big NFL guy, the NFL app. Now app is actually going to be a big thing. Cause, and when you subscribe to it on here, you get it on your mobile phone and other devices. Uh, 120 Sports, another one of those sports um, things. They're kind of like, a, you know, it's free to watch. They have like little shows and, and cover the different news and events and things like that. Disney, unless you have cable, uh, an authorized cable subscribing channel plan with Disney in it, they're useless. I really wish that they would offer something else. Uh, Lifetime A&E, um, you can get, uh, same with History Channel, all three of these guys are going to be um, limited what you can do unless you have the actual channel in your subscription lineup. Uh, so, But you can watch, there is stuff that you can watch for free. UFC TV is a useless app unless you purchase the UFC uh, pass, basically their fight pass. Actually not too bad, 100 bucks a year, uh, I think you do 10 bucks a month. Uh, 55 bucks, I think, for six months, something like that. They have little subscription, you know, plans to get a little bit cheaper if you go further out a longer time. A lot of access. You can also, though, do, and I shouldn't say that, you can also do pay per view through this app as well. So you can actually get access to your UFC if you don't have cable and you can't do pay per view that way. So this is an awesome app to have for those of us that love fighting. So um, Showtime, right now, it's, it's, you have to have Showtime to use it and you have to log in with your stuff. So. Um, MLB, similar to NBA, you can have access to MLB stuff. Same with WWE. It really doesn't do much unless you have the WWE subscription package. Uh, AAC Sports, Campus Sports, um, you know, get access to college stuff. Red Bull TV, really good stuff for Red Bull stuff. Vimeo, free, awesome videos from the internet. A little more professional than YouTube. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, YouTube is just as professional anymore with a lot of their stuff. So it all depends on the creator. Crackle's free. ABC News. Uh, if you want to watch um, snippets, things like that, absolutely. Their uh, live programming is, uh, I think on this one is, I think you can watch live on this one without logging in. Yeah, so we're going into this one right now. It's the CNBC one. This guy, you have to have a subscription to watch the live stuff or, or you know, a lot of their stuff. So this one you have to log in with, and you have to have a subscription to log in, so, or a cable plan with it, basically, in it. Um, uh, PBS Kids, free PBS, obviously free. It's all public stuff. Um, Bloomberg TV, you can actually watch live news here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Quello Concerts, they have concerts. Willow, you know, I, I'm not going to go through all these. I'm just going to kind of hit some highlights, Di you know, Daily Motion is a really good thing. A lot of carryover from YouTube, things like that. You'll actually see if you're if you're a subscriber to some of the channels in there. But you'll have a, a di access to a different way of a different feel of everything. Feeling is uh, subscription based actually. But those of those of you like my mother who loves the Hallmark Channel, boom, you know you get access to all your nice little guys here. They have a lot of movies built in here as well. Um, if you actually try to watch any of it, it's going to ask you to log in or pay for a subscription. So let's pull that up real quick so you can see 48 bucks a year 
five bucks a month have your unlimited access to your feeling or hallmark channel goodies which there actually are some good movies like feel of dreams awesome awesome movie uh let's see crunchyroll so anime uh fyi it's kind of like dyi I, on it's it's a cable channel as well and you really have to have a subscription to it to air to cable to really use this very much um a lot of good free stuff on the Smithsonian vivo weather channel uh korean tv they do have terrestrial radio stuff it's not gonna be able you know you're, you'll have to it, there's not a huge stuff you gotta pick your your goodies and go like that it's it, the app that always came with it from the get-go um abc if unless you have a subscription don't even bother with it uh, same with Fox now, um, Flickr free, ESPN, a lot of good small highlights videos, things like that. But you're not going to be able to watch live stuff unless you ha unless you have ESPN. But that's including some of the other stuff now. So, and I move I movie theater. So that's a get go or just and you know kind of went through that fairly rapidly with you. I've talked really fast and I apologize for that. But um, you know there's a lot of videos about this stuff like there. And if you have any questions at all, post them below. Uh, I'll, I try to keep up on all the comments that are directed to me at least so if I missed you I'm sorry but I try to do my best anymore and uh, if you want to contact me directly check me over at facebook facebook.com slash tech gooch um, and uh, we are doing things on the facebook page or I should say I am because I do all of it so um, I'm going to try to update that regularly and uh, same with twitter I'm going to try to get into twitter more and more on my tech gooch stuff but uh, if you have any questions, comments about the Apple TV, direct them toward me because I am a huge fan. I have the Apple TV. My two main box, or my three, I guess. My two main boxes, though, are the Apple TV and the Fire TV. Those two combined make awesome because the one thing that this still doesn't do is Amazon Instant Video. I really can't believe that Amazon, in their brilliant wisdom, doesn't authorize an app on here. Um, because it would make some things so much easier. Yes, you can, can still get it on here. Yes, you can airplay it from your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, even your PC or your and yeah, you can get it probably even from your Android device now, uh, with all those little apps that they have. But basically, pushing content onto here is pretty easy. I have the Amazon Fire TV because it's a really really good feed uh, um, for Amazon services. Um, but that said, I use the. Uh, Probably 95% of my use is Apple TV and 5% of my use is Amazon Fire TV. So if that says anything, there you go right there. Um, and the Apple TV, in my opinion, is still the most robust and most reliable box out there, meaning I almost never have to restart this guy, even though it's aging. Um, it doesn't show its age so much, actually. It's pretty fast still, as, as old as the hardware actually is. So Thanks again for watching. Like above, comment below. Let me know what you think. Take it easy, guys.